Welcome to Jurassic Park. A Komodo dragon building may be bigger than you picture it. Uh, there's all of our reptile office staff and incubator rooms and off exhibit holding are behind uh, uh, what you see in the public side of this building. And this building is one of the strongest buildings on Anastasia Island. It's steel frame and uh, we've been, we use concrete block and poured the walls solid concrete. So when we capture monkeys and birds and squirrels for a storm, we put them in those airplane kennels and then they go into this building. And so the whole building can run off of natural gas indefinitely because that all comes through a pipe continuously. The peak in here, we're all set up for moving animals in. Some of the tortoises and turtles are already in here, but these tables will be set up for uh, vultures that can't go anywhere else. Area is normally reserved for displaying big animals like our Komodo dragon. Uh, are now being used to protect some of our smaller animals from flooding like these baby Galapagos tortoises. The Komodo dragons have other behind-the-scenes indoor enclosures. They'll be fine. And now the tortoises have an indoor enclosure to stop against the rising waters. All right, what do we have in here? Some birds. Got Sherman and then vultures. Vultures. All right, the vultures can't fly, but... Uh, in this wind, they might go flying for the first time in a long time. So uh, we're moving them inside to that Komodo Dragon building we talked about. So they will spend a night or two in these crates, which they are capable of and have done during other storms. And then they will be moved back out to their exhibit. The Komodo building is rather secure. Well, we've got this outdoor exhibit with one of our big pythons in it. And since our neighbors don't want a python roaming in their neighborhood, apparently, uh, we're going to go ahead and catch this snake up and put it in a bag and put it in this container and uh, then put that inside the Komodo building. So everything's nice and secure. This is a lot of snake. And though she's not venomous, uh, they are dangerous animals. So this team has got to work together. They're working a plan right now about how to get a hold of her, how to get her in the box, in the bag, and then in the box. We'll grab her head, which she, of course, is not going to enjoy, but this is part of dealing with the storm. And she'll forgive us later when we give her a nice big food item. Every time I point at that plant, it stops blowing. A lot quieter in the zoo right now. All of these birds have been moved to safer locations. Here are wild birds chirping in the background. Already some new palm fronds in with the alligators, which they absolutely love, because they can get underneath them and hide, and that's new and interesting. Uh, so that'll be good enrichment till we clean up on Friday. But it's a quiet place without animals and without people. We have buttoned things up. This is what it looks like when they say, batten down the hatches. Taking down the awnings so they don't get shredded. 